Hello and welcome to the video. This is a video, first impressions and first look really of this little thing here. This is the pocket meter and this is a little thing that you can use to test electrical uh, voltages, resistances, currents, uh, but it also does a couple of extra cute little things as well. It's um, a basic oscilloscope for single shot tracing and it's also a data logger too. So actually this little thing uh, compared with your phone will actually do the majority of what this big thing will do, uh, which is my trusty multimeter. Now I actually have an awful lot of test kit and you will find that as you work in the hobby that you will end up getting more and more things, servo testers, lipo checkers, basic oscilloscopes, a multimeter is pretty much essential. So let's go through some of the specs on this. I'll put a link below so you can have a look on the website if you want to get more uh, true RMS measurements. So this is a nice little multimeter in its own right, auto ranging, 10 millivolts to 60 volts DC, up to 42 volts AC, current 1 milliamp to 2 amps maximum, resistance measurements, uh, ambience temperature measurements as well, capacitance and also continuity and diode polarity checking as well. So a nice range of stuff. In addition to that though, it also has some other tricks up its sleeve. It's also a digital storage oscilloscope. Sampling rates are pretty good, 12 bit. Again, the voltage and current ranges are pretty much the same. One millisecond to 10 second acquisition window and varying different ways to trigger it too. Now there is this kind of manual thing at the back, definitely worth a quick read. It's not, it just tells you how to connect it. There's this little baggie that you get that has the space to keep all the bits. And then in the front of this packaging, you have the individual pieces. In addition to the storage oscilloscope, there's also the ability to store parameters long term. 12 bit sampling, again, standard voltage and current ranges, and it has one to 8,000 memory points and can do up to six months logging. So this could be particularly handy if you wanted to get one of these and hide it away in a piece of equipment and just track what the battery voltage or whatever did over time. Now to pull these side pieces out, you just kind of unhook them from the bottom and pull on them both at the same time. It's a spring loaded system. Pressing the button at the bottom will make them retract. And then in addition, you have these little spring loaded clips that can go onto the end as well. Really handy with a little hook. This is really, I think, designed for those of us who are into playing with our electronics. Uh, so this would be great for kind of attaching onto something like an Arduino or the pins of a flight controller or something when we're having a play. So when I initially saw this, I was really interested because it's designed as almost like a key ring that you can keep with you all the time. And there are times at the field or if I'm going flying with a friend and they don't have the equipment that it would just be incredibly handy to check something on their model. And these little clips that fit inside the package are great, particularly if you want to kind of clip the ground wire onto a ground pin and then use the other one just to check the voltages around a particular circuit. But it's incredibly small and when you use it with your mobile phone or whatever device with the application on it is really really handy with that nice big display. I do like the fact that we have a spare fuse included with it but you can get additional uh, fuses as well. Now to activate it first thing you need to do is to rotate the back there is a little embossed emblem showing the unlock position once you're in there, you need to pull the little tab out from behind the battery. That will then connect it and away you go. Once you've got the battery all hooked up, then you just have to install the Pocket Meter app onto your device. I just popped it on my phone because this is the one that I tend to have with me when I'm out at the field anyway. So I can put this Pocket Meter in my field kit, even inside the battery box, and it will always be ready to use. Now to connect to it is really straightforward. There's no messing about. You don't have to try and find things with Bluetooth or any of that shenanigans. You just have to click OK. Uh, not sure why it requires location permission, but I guess that's just the way that Android works. Um, I hope it is. And then once you say that, I'll select only allow while using the app, then you just click on the pocket device and it will connect and you're ready to rock and roll. So if I just grab a battery very quickly and we'll keep it on the DC voltage. If I put the probes on the other end, there we go. We can see the voltage on that battery. It's that easy. Really, really smart idea to pair it with a phone so that you can use it like that. 
So let me give you an idea of how this uh, works in practice. So here I have the receiving part of the head tracker that I built a while ago. I'll put a link down below if you're interested in that. And at the moment I've just got it set to AC volts. Uh, that's the wrong setting for this. But what we can do is I can go here and select oscilloscope and then I can acquire the trace and then I can change the window size and also I can scroll around, change the trigger stuff and have a really good look with this. We can also change the time frame window, we can change the volts axis and it's a, just a really, really cute way to see exactly what the signals are that are coming off. The only issue that I've got with this, unfortunately, is that this oscilloscope trace isn't live. What it's actually doing is taking the trace and then uploading it to the phone so you can see it. But all of these functions are available through these quite intuitive menus. And within a couple of minutes, you'll have figured out how to use pretty much everything. So there's lots to like about this little thing. I like how small, neat and portable it is and how by pairing it with something you've got in your pocket already like the phone, it means that not only do you have a nice multimeter, you also have a digital oscilloscope, uh, a basic one, but a digital oscilloscope and you also have the data logger as well. It does replace lots of other things that I would normally have if I was going to a friend's house to try and help them fix something or troubleshoot a problem. Having this little pocket thing literally in the bag uh, when I go to the field with things like my radio and stuff means that I don't have to take things like my little digital oscilloscope, I don't have to take my multimeter and all those different things and I can have it with me all the time. It is very very easy to use. The optional ends for the wires are very nice and being able to just lock them onto something like this Arduino to take measurement is a smashing way to do it, particularly for the ground wire where you can just connect that onto a ground pin and then use the other side when you're chasing voltages around or resistances. You can just touch that part to the circuit and figure out what's going on. And I also like the ability that you can store readings and also do the manual calibration as well. That's really handy, particularly with the oscilloscope. Although it is a, not a live view as such, it does mean that you can do things like look at previous waveforms. So maybe if you're tweaking um, some kind of tuning circuit or something and you're trying to see what effect that has, you can look at before and after. Again, sadly isn't live but it does mean that you have all those previous recordings to look at. There are a couple of things to be aware of though. Uh, the limited reach of the wires is potentially a problem in some instances. Again I think this is more for desktop electronic troubleshooting rather than anything else particularly with the limited upper ranges for both DC and AC volts. At the price of about £70 this is an expensive option if all you want is a basic multimeter and you're quite happy to lug a traditional multimeter around. A nice multimeter can be got for 30 or 40 pounds. But for those of us that want something that's super small that can literally fit in the bag and taken everywhere so that you've got it when you need it, or if you're after something like a data logger that you can connect to something over a period of days and then go back and have a look at how that's all working, this is actually really handy. But again, if you're just looking for simple voltage and current measurement, something like a basic multimeter is going to be an awful lot cheaper if you don't mind the extra size. But if you're looking for something that's super portable, that's nice and small, that has the basic multimeter, a basic oscilloscope, and also some of the nice things like the data logger, all in one handy device, this is really cool. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.